in the brain, there are a, a family of proteins called neurotrophic factors. And these proteins promote the survival and growth of neurons during development, but they're also very important in maintaining brain-derived neurotrophic factor before we started studying it in relation to dietary restriction. Other labs had shown that physical exercise and cognitive stimulation will increase levels of BDNF in the brain. Now, we've looked at the effects of dietary restriction in a number of different models of neurodegenerative diseases. It's, it's beneficial in models of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, stroke, Huntington's disease. In the mouse model of ALS, it's not beneficial and it makes things worse. So the, the intermittent fasting is increasing BDNF levels in the brain, it's suppressing the neurodegenerative process, and it's improving glucose metabolism. And a lot of the scientists who, who study depression now think that the increased BDNF levels in the brain play a critical role in the antidepressant effects of these drugs. So these are Prozac, Paxil, for example, and others. So here's the, the last, or I'm almost done, slide uh, from the standpoint of the brain. Evolutionarily conserved signaling pathways in nerve cells are particularly important in regulating lifespan and, and this is true in the context of dietary restriction. So one hypothesis we're pursuing that many of the peripheral effects of dietary restriction are mediated through changes in the brain. We're, but this, this warrior diet is kind of like this human study we're doing. It, uh, this Ori Hoffmeckler is proposing that it's, you, know, you can eat a lot as long as you have a long intermeal interval. And this makes some sense from the hormesis standpoint. Uh, when you have to go a long time without food, it's a mild stress. And, you know, that it makes sense that, for example, from the standpoint of insulin sensitivity, if the cells go a long time with, with low, relatively low glucose levels, they upregulate their mechanisms for removing glucose from the blood when it's available. They're greedy, right? So that your insulin sensitivity increases. I've gotten emails from many, many people who are either eating every other day or, or this kind of diet, which is kind of like the warrior diet. After they're on the diet for, say, two weeks or so, then they adjust to it. It's not a big deal, and they're feeling better. You know, so uh, if they can force themselves to do it for uh, sufficient time, their body adapts and they're okay skipping breakfast and lunch or even a few people have been one guy for a year now or nine months at least nine months now has been eating every other day last year i've been doing it for a year all my test scores have gone way up that's incredible i mean because they should be going down you're getting older